Holly AMG. It's 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 bigger than the sun. I'm literally in a sea of people right now from all over the world, including Randy Stafford over here. Randy, where did you say that you traveled from? Rome, Georgia. Awesome, awesome. So obviously the solar eclipse is what brings you here. What are you most excited about today? Oh, totality. This this whole partial eclipse is kind of cool, but we're like 45 minutes or so from totality, and it is life altering. Yeah, yeah, it sure is. Well, hey, you're a big old gadget over here. First caught my attention. Can you tell me first a little bit about what this thing is? Uh, Celestron um, Ultima 2000. Um, I'm a high school physics teacher, and this is owned by my district, and my principal graciously let me bring it, and, um, and we can see all the details. It's actually glorious. Yeah. So tell me a little bit, just real quick, how you got it here. I thought that was kind of hysterical. Uh, so uh, the fine folks at UPS were more than happy to take a lot of my money. And, um, and we put this one in one box and this one in another box and shipped it here to land uh, at a UPS near the airport. A couple days later, we landed there, picked it up, and here in a couple days, it's all going back the same way, back to Rome. <laughs> Golly, that's awesome. So tell me, uh, because I know, you know we've heard a few things like you can't watch the solar eclipse with certain types of telescopes. You were explaining that to me a little bit earlier. Uh, you know, can you go into detail? Yeah, it's not the telescope so much. It's the, uh, the solar lens, oh, excuse me, the solar filter. Um, this right here is, if you look through it, it's like completely opaque. You can't see anything. Yeah, that's uh, true. Unless you look at the sun. Oh, yeah. the sun's coming back out. Isn't that polite? Perfect, huh? Um, so yeah, if you if you try to look at the sun through a telescope without a filter, um, you won't have your eyesight long. So let's not do that. <laughs> let's definitely not do that. We've all we've all heard the stories. We've been telling them for for quite some time now. So you said that this is not just a four minute show earlier. That this is a a what? How long show for you? Uh, well, so um, it's about, it's a more than an hour from when the moon first starts to occlude the sun, but then when we get to totality, that only lasts four minutes and a few seconds, and that's the, that's the pinnacle. That's the, everything else is nice. That's what's amazing. That's what's worth the trip. Yeah, right, and you said that you're a physics teacher. Did you, did you have to educate your students, you know, anything about, you know, what you're going to do, what, what they were going to see? Are they going to see anything from, from Georgia? We, we, well, yeah, it's, it's partial in Georgia. We're on spring break, so some of them I convinced to travel to uh, places where they could see totality, but many of them are standing outside with glasses right now looking at partial. Yeah, yeah, awesome. All right, good deal. Well, thank you so much, Randy. We will be back here very soon. We'll be covering, like we said, the entire total eclipse. So next, you'll hear from our, our Parker Ream. But until then, in Waco, PJ Hessner, Fox 44 News.